Okay, here's another type of reaction type for organic reactions. I haven't titled it yet. What's that? One, two, three, four. And you're going to say, but, but, single bonds, a, butane. Nice job. Plus O2. Oh, I know. That's a, that's an alkane. And so if that's going to have, oh, look at that's a diatomic thing. So I'm going to put, I take one H off uh, of, of, of this chain here and I'm attach it to an O and put another O on. And I'm going to get, uh, to, oh, I don't know how to name it just yet, but hang on. It could be an oxy something. It's just... Look, it's a hydrocarbon undergoing combustion. Don't get fooled. Whenever you see plus O2, here's what you get, right? CO2 plus H2O. Look, <laughs> it's hydrocarbon combustion. And so whenever you get an organic molecule and it says plus O2, don't be thinking substitution, don't be thinking addition, just think burning, because that's what that means, and it's going to make CO2 and H2O. Now, it doesn't always make CO2, you know. This is an ideal reaction under ideal conditions. Generally, what happens is these alkanes and alkenes and alkynes, when they burn, they're going to produce carbon monoxide as well in incomplete combustion. So uh, these exothermic reactions might actually produce chemicals that are a little bit more radical than what we're used to, but generally speaking, when you're asked to write an equation for combustion, you put down CO2 plus H2O. Now to balance that, you have to remember that if this is an alkane and a butane, which is what it is, what would the formula be? Well, C4, and you don't even have to think about it, it's H10, because it's, uh, it's H2N plus 2, right? So C4H10. So when you balance that, you're going to have four of those right there, because you have four there, you got ten hydrogens there, you're going to put a five there. Stay on this side. Four times two is eight, plus five is thirteen. So 13 halves go here. And remember, chem guy says that's cool, but if your teacher doesn't, it's going to be 2, 13, 8, and 10. Hydrocarbon combustion. So an addition reaction, remember, was to take a double or triple bonded substance and then add on a halogen or something like water, which would break apart into HOH, and you could add on chemicals onto double and triple bonds that were sprung open. Elimination is the reverse of those processes. It's to actually form multiple bonded substances. So now how can you do that? Well, you add concentrated H2SO4 and that just tends to suck the life out of stuff. It sucks water out when there's not even water present in something. Actually, that's kind of true because if you actually put concentrated sulfuric acid onto sucrose, which is C12H22O11, it sucks the water out of sucrose and leaves carbon behind. It's really nasty stuff. Well, what can it do to a molecule like this? Well, it can eliminate or eliminate um, uh, a, a certain substance from it that you can remove. So what are we going to remove from this and what is this to begin with? Well, okay, take a look at this molecule. And, and if your teacher said, your teacher would actually say, here, what would you do with this and perform an elimination reaction? I don't think necessarily that they would, well, they might just give you an equation like this and say in concentrated sulfuric acid, what forms? They might do that. And you'll have to say, okay, well, elimination is a possibility where you're going to get a molecule like this. And let's draw this out from this condensed formula here. So you've got two CH3s attached to this C. So here's a C with a CH3 attached and a CH3 attached. And there's an OH that's attached to that C. How can I tell? Because then this C is attached to this C, which has an H attached to it here, which then it has a CH3 attached here and a CH3 attached here. What would be the name of that molecule? Now, pardon me again for the hydrogens not being there. Okay, longest continuous chain of carbons, one, two, three, four. So that's a butan, but this is not butane because there's an OH group on it. So it's a butanol, but where's the all? At the second carbon in. So because that has precedence, of course, over the branches, that's going to be a butan to all. So this is going to be a butan to all. Now, where are these two methyl branches? At the two and at the well, at the 3, right? So it's a 2, 3. So it would be a 2, comma, 3 hyphen dimethylbutan 2 all. What's going to happen is, in an elimination reaction, see that OH? See that H? Whoosh, whoosh, they come off. This concentrated sulfuric acid peels water off where there was no water before. And it's going to take that water molecule off. So what you're going to get is H2O formed. That's been eliminated, and now what's happened? Well, this carbon's saying, I could bond to something. This one's saying, me too, let's bond.
onto each other. And so what happened there? You're going to get those two carbons bonding in a double bond. And of course, that C there, that C there. And you had the methyls here and the methyl here. And you've got now the H's that are here at the either end. And that's it right there. And so now, what's that molecule's name? Well, that's a double bond. That's an ene on a butene. So it's a but2ene where the methyls are on the 2, 3. 2, 3 dimethyl but2ene. So elimination is when you form, sounds like you're eliminating something, but you're forming a multiple bond from a substance by, well, in this case, dehydrating it.